Today I'm going to be showing you how neutral buoyancy could win you the next science fair and might even have the potential to save lives. Ready? Yeah! A few weeks ago I showed you that if you hover a drone in the back of an enclosed truck and then have that truck accelerate, the drone moves backward in the truck. But in that same video, I showed something that was a little surprising. If you have a neutrally buoyant balloon that isn't sinking or rising and you accelerate the truck around it, the balloon doesn't fly to the back. Even though it has a mass of 17 grams, it just stays in the exact same spot as if it were stuck in a gel or something. Even when the truck slams on its brakes, the balloon doesn't lunge forward, but it just stays exactly where it was. So neutrally buoyant objects don't get slammed around in the container they're in. So that got me thinking, does that mean that neutral buoyancy could save you from being injured in a car accident? In car accidents, a lot of injuries happen because one part of your body is accelerating or decelerating at a rate faster than other parts of your body. So you end up with broken bones and serious deformative injuries. But if you were neutrally buoyant in the vehicle, then all parts of your body would decelerate at the same rate. Would that save you? Well, to test this, we're going to be doing an egg drop. But in this egg drop, we aren't going to be patting it and trying to decrease the impact. Instead, we're just going to suspend our egg in a fluid that has the same average density as the egg, so that it's neutrally buoyant. We need the fluid to be the same density. If we don't get it just right, then when an acceleration happens, if the fluid is too dense, the egg will move to the front of the container during acceleration. If the fluid isn't dense enough, the egg will move to the back of the container. So to fine tune our fluid, I'm going to use water and keep adding salt until the egg doesn't sink or float. And each time you do this, it needs to be fine tuned to the egg because each egg has a slightly different density. As I add the salt, eventually we'll get to a point where the egg neither sinks to the bottom nor rises to the top. Okay, that is pretty close to perfect if you ask me. It's just floating right in the middle there. Very similar to my balloon in the truck. When it's neutrally buoyant, it acts as though it's in zero gravity. In fact, this is how astronauts train to be in space. They get in a suit that makes them the same average density as the water. Now that we have our liquid that's the same density as our egg, we need to fill up a container that has no bubbles in it. If there are any bubbles, they'll move around and cause the egg to move around. So first let's start off with a small drop in a clear container and see if the egg breaks or just stays put, moving along with the container. If we drop it in slow motion, you can see how during the impact, the egg just moves exactly along with the bottle and the water in the bottle. So the egg can't crack because there's no stress points pushing on the shell that would make it crack. But let's see if we can go even higher. Let's do an eight foot drop and see if the egg cracks. Okay, this doesn't seem like it should work. There's no way. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's go check out the damage. It survived. No way. That is crazy. Okay, let's go even higher and see if it breaks. Let's go for around a 20 foot drop. Okay, let's see if this is broken or not. Nope, look at that, <laughs> it's completely fine. No cracks at all. That is awesome. I didn't think that this would work so well. Now we have to go even higher. And to do that, I'm gonna need some help from my drone. Okay. So what do we do now? Well, if you need to drop something from a high spot and a drone won't work, there's always a cliff to throw it off. Let's go for the 40 foot drop. Oh, the container broke. But if we slow this down, you can see that the egg looks like it comes out unbroken and then breaks when it hits the ground outside of the container. So it maybe could have survived this drop. But let's try a metal container now. Ready? Yeah. Okay, will the egg 
still be alive. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> so I think the problem here is that the container isn't much bigger than the egg. So if the egg is touching anywhere near the sides of the container, the sides of the container itself can strike the eggshell, causing the eggshell to break. In this slow motion footage with the clear tube and a lower drop, you can see how the sides of the container strike the egg, making it move really fast. So I imagine that if we had a much bigger container so that the egg isn't near the sides, then it could survive this. So it seems that neutral buoyancy definitely has some potential to save us from high impacts. But would it really? This whole time we've been looking at whether or not the egg broke, but we've forgotten the most important part, what's happening inside the egg. Well, let's bang this egg around in the salt water and then crack it open and see what it looks like compared to an egg that hasn't been shaken around. So the egg is still not cracked in there. But now let's get our egg out. Perfectly fine, not cracked. <laughs> it looks like we have a perfectly mixed egg now. <laughs> So the egg white and the yolk are completely mixed together. So even though the eggshell didn't crack, the inside was completely destroyed. So this is a good representation of how strong accelerations and impacts are harmful and deadly even when your body is properly restrained. The egg white is slightly more dense than the egg yolk, so the egg white will move forward during impact, and the yolk will move backward. Additionally, there's a little air pocket in the egg that will want to move in the opposite direction of both the yolk and the white. So this mixes all of them together. In our bodies, our brain is a slightly different density than the fluid around the brain. The lungs are filled with air and all your organs are slightly different densities. So any impact is going to make all the organs move around inside of you. So please don't try to fill your car with salt water to become neutrally buoyant to save you from any crashes. If you try this for an egg drop in the science fair, you can note that water by itself without salt also works pretty well, since it's near the buoyancy of the egg already. But notice in this slow motion footage with regular water how the egg does move downward during impact. So it's definitely plausible that neutral buoyancy can protect an egg from breaking during an egg drop. Especially if you add padding to the container. I didn't add any padding, but if you just slowed the impact by a little bit by adding some padding around the container, then you could help the container not explode and save the egg from the hard sidewall impact that knocked the egg inside of it. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab and we'll see you next time.